Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and we're going to uh, look at a repair project. This is the ARRL 49 to 1 Anun that they sell for their 40 through 10 um, NFED half wave antenna. And a um, nice little unit, I really like it. Um, we had a little problem with it. Um, this is where the coax goes in. If you need to attach counterpoise, this is where it goes. And up here we have to hold this up, and this is where the antenna wire connects. We had a little problem with that, okay? So we're going to go through a quick fix of that, and in so doing, I'm going to introduce an RV uh, product that is basically a, a roof sealant, and it's something that's uh, very UV resistant, applies very well, and is supposed to be waterproof. So that's what we're going to do for this. And so what we're going to do is open this up and we're going to take a look at some things in here. Okay, and that should come off the top. Okay, so what we did uh, was we took the wire off of here, which was the wire that went over here, and simply, and simply connected it over here. But that left this gaping hole and it's unfortunately the way it hangs, this would be on the top. Okay, now what we see here is a little bit of a crack here. I'm not worried about the cracks. I went ahead and drilled uh, two weep holes. What weep holes are is so that the air pressure in and out of this is equalized, which is very important for uh, during the day-night temperature cycle because it will want to suck air in at night and blow it out during the day and water can become trapped in here. So the um, Thor, uh, everything is in perfectly good shape but we need to heal that hole. Here's how we're going to do it. This is something that is used for RVs for roof repairs. It'll actually go on when the roof is slightly uh, wet and it's a little bit expensive but you know I think for what we're trying to do here somebody trying to do uh, roof repair will find this uh, very handy you get this at an RV store and you're looking for uh, tape that will waterproof a, a hole that might have gotten into things now um, it's called Extreme, and this was about $20. Now, I no longer have my RV, so this stuff is very sticky. It's designed to be waterproof. Okay, so here is the edge of this stuff. All right, and it's taped on. So we're just going to use a knife and undo this just gently. with this stuff before. It's nasty. If we don't need a big piece, what we're going to do, if you can hold that up like that, is we're just going to put a piece right across there. And it doesn't need to be a big piece. Stuff is sticky as all get out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put it across here right at the line where the top goes on. Okay, now that crack is permanently sealed from a watertight point of view. Now, what we're going to do is put this back on. Okay, 
Now, we want to also cover that hole right there. So we're going to take a little bit bigger piece of this. And there we go. Okay, that leaves that leaves just this little hole to be covered. And notice I wanted to do this separately, so when I take this thing apart, I don't open up that old hole all over again. Let's take just a, a little piece of this stuff. Okay. And we'll stick this right there. Okay. Now, that's just tape right there. But this is now waterproof again. And we did add the weep holes on the bottom. So you can hang this up, run your uh, 40 or 66 feet of wire, and you've got a... Um, this is the way the league does it. That covers 40 through 10. If you put a a 125 foot, if you put a 125 foot piece of wire on this, you can cover 80 through 10, because you'll know that this has frequency 3.5 to 30 megahertz, and it actually comes from hfkits.com. And if you want to get it, there you go. Just uh, Right there. Copy that barcode into your phone. It'll take you there. Okay, so. All right, so what we did was we used um, a piece of RV roof sealant. Not very much of it, as you can see. And uh, sealed that thing up. This now goes into the supply box for any time we need to seal something else and make it good and waterproof, uh, cover a hole, do something like that. And if I ever get an RV again, I've got some. So, there you have it. We took something that broke, our mistake, and fixed it, made it work again. And we adapted by moving the antenna connector over to the other side of the hook, reconnecting it inside, and now we've got a finished product we can put back up. So. Thank you all very much for watching. If you'll stay just a moment or two, you'll see ways that you can get in touch with me, ways you can support this channel, and a list of the patrons, our patrons. We really love them. You can become a patron yourself by going to uh, patreon.com slash ke0og. Until we next meet, 73.